the Singer Heavy Duty Computerized Sewing Machine, the HD 6600C series, is easy to thread thanks to convenient threading diagrams and the needle threader. Now let's get started. To thread the machine, the first thing we're going to do is wind a bobbin. And to wind a bobbin, we need to retrieve the bobbin, which is down here in our bobbin case. We're going to raise the presser foot lifter and put a finger on the corner here and push this button. This is your bobbin cover release button. Press that and it will release the cover and you can retrieve your bobbin. These are Singer Class 15 transparent bobbins. If you ever decide that you want to buy additional bobbins, you want to make sure that you always look for Singer Class 15 bobbins and you want the transparent ones for your machine. Place your thread on your spool pin and put the spool cap on in front of that. And take your thread and bring it into this first thread guide, snapping it in from front to back. The bobbin winding path is indicated on the top of your machine with this dashed or dotted line. So we're going to follow and it shows me the next place it's going to go is here to my bobbin winding tension disc. So you're going to bring it around the bobbin winding tension disc like this and then just give that a little pull, holding it with both hands and snugly place that underneath those discs. It's really important or your bobbin won't wind properly. And then take the end of your thread and place it from center out through one of these holes on the bobbin, like so. And then set your bobbin on the bobbin winding spindle and push it down. Hold the thread and push the whole thing over to the right. And now you can step on the foot control to start winding. After you get a little bit of thread on there, take your scissor and clip this thread close to the bobbin and step on the foot control to resume winding. You can stop when you have enough thread on the bobbin for your project or you can keep winding until it's full. It'll stop automatically when it's full. When it stops winding, push it to the left, lift it off the bobbin winding spindle, and cut the thread. Now we're going to set the bobbin in the machine, place it in your fingers like this, and take a look and make sure that the thread is coming off from the top and over to the left, almost resembling a small letter P. Drop it in to the bobbin holder and pull it and just make sure it's going counterclockwise. Now with a finger placed lightly on the bobbin, bring the thread around this guide, follow this little white arrow, bring it around, following this arrow, you can place your cover back on and give that a little tug and your thread is staged. Now we're ready to thread the top of the machine. There's two things you want to check before you get started, and one is to just double check to make sure your presser foot lifter is raised. That's very important or your machine won't thread properly in the tensions. And the other is to make sure that your take-up lever is visible, and if it isn't, turn the hand wheel toward you until you can see the take-up lever here in its highest position. And now we're ready to thread the top of the machine. After winding a bobbin, the top of the machine probably looks a little bit like this. So we're going to remove the thread from the bobbin winding tension disc. And if it's not still in this thread guide, make sure it's in that thread guide number one there. Bring it into this thread guide number two. And keep holding the thread lightly with your right hand. And bring this end of the thread with your left hand down this channel around the bottom where there's a bit of a U-turn there. You see a U-turn on the machine and then come up to the right of the take-up lever, bring it over to the left, and then bring it forward again until the thread slips into the eye of the take-up lever. And then bring the thread down to the needle area. Now bring the thread behind this first thread guide, and then behind this second thread guide, just above the needle. Now you can thread the needle manually, or you can use your built-in needle threader. To use your needle threader, first bring your thread around this hook on the mechanism and push the needle threader all the way down 
and bring the thread in front of the needle and then release the needle threader until you see this small loop in the back of the needle. Pull the loop and now place your thread underneath the foot. Because we have the drop and sew bobbin system, it's staged my bobbin thread for me, so there's no need to draw up the bobbin thread now to start sewing. Now let's test the stitch to make sure that we threaded the machine correctly. So you can place the fabric underneath the presser foot, lower the presser foot lifter, and step on the foot control to start sewing. There's our stitch. It looks good on the top side, looks good on the back side. So we, now we know that we've threaded the machine correctly. When you sew, if it seems okay on the top, but when you turn it over, it looks like there are a lot of thread loops, a lot of excess thread, a lot of looping and bunching. That's actually an indication that the top of the machine was threaded incorrectly. So just remove the thread from the top threading path and re-thread the machine.